Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon. Uh, I was just going to go straight to Town Hall, but then I saw that there's a bunch of requests I can take, so... Now we're going to focus on that. Oh, okay. I have to walk around. Um, that way, I don't know, you can see him as well. Doesn't really make a difference either way, but... I don't know. We, we just had a ton of dialogue. I don't really want to get into more dialogue right away. What a remarkable... Okay, I know how stupid that sounds because I'm literally reading more dialogue. <laughs> no Pokemon it belongs to it must have been a wee little thing hiding behind some rocks when I found it. Naughty. <laughs> Not but his tail poking out, uh, but it was a tail I'd give anything to see again. Its tail was elegant and swinging like a spring. Oh, uh, Glammeow. I'm assuming that doesn't mean, uh, uh, crops of the tender grill. Um, spoink. Cause then to be dead. Nice to meet you. Uh, I want to make the fields even bigger, but we don't have enough helpers. If you want to lend us one of them water types you got, that'd be greatly appreciated. Okie dokie. I have a Psyduck. Here you go. So, uh, your big help. Thanks for expanding the fields. Woo wee, your Pokemon's amazing. Just sit back, I'm about to make the field even bigger. And I'm done. Fighting Pokemon? I'm going to say fighting Pokemon for the next one. Smash the rocks. That's my theory. Game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, this house. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hello there. Why is it that one of you youngins from the Survey Corps, good thing to drop by. If you help me make friends with this EV, I think I can lend you a hand. Kennel, uh, my granddaughter brought the little guy home with her the other day, and I want us to be on good terms. Pet it. Offer it snacks. Uh, I decided the best way to win EV is the old-fashioned way, through tasty treats. We opened up a special snack in the hometown, and it's still growing in sweet. I found a local berries. I think it's just good enough sips to use. Got three stalks of hearty grains and two hoppo berries. One raspberry. I'm counting on you. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, I, they're not in my inventory. Okay, I'm in town. You should pull from my stock if I have those. Because uh, that's... If... If it, I actually have to go bring them, that's kind of annoying. It's not the biggest deal. But it's annoying nonetheless. Who are you? Purchase XP candies. Oh, uh, that's cool. How much are the XP candies? Money is not super easy to come by in this game. Uh, Valley customer. I'm afraid he's refusing to do business and he won't listen to me. Um, take pea pods. Pop pods. Uh, hello. I want more things. The species is called Shellos. So I've heard it has different... Oh, sweet. Did I actually catch two of those? Hold on. Can I complete that? I want to see a pink one first. Oh no, I didn't catch a blue one. I don't think. No! Alright. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's all of them. 
Um, okay, so what does he want again? Pop pods. Hoppo berries and raspberries. Hoppo berry and raspberry. I got a raspberry. Ugh, come on. That's ridiculous. Give me them all. Give me them all. Any grass? Give me it all. Alright. Uh, nope. Where was your quest? You are in the house, right? Yeah. Alright, we'll go deliver your goods. I really do got to check about the haircut, though. Because I want a new haircut. And then this is probably all I'm going to be able to do right away. All right, everyone should be friends with an Eevee. Oh, I became friends with the Eevee. Oh, my God, it evolved. What happened? My daughter's going to be furious. One of these ingredients look nice and fresh. Get to cooking. You give me the recipe too. Oh, I bought a ton of recipes as well. Uh, let's have a taste before giving it to Evie. <laughs> Town muffin. Uh, it's <laughs> beloved by a surprising number of Pokemon. Pokemon love muffins. Uh, they need to be more delicate. Sorry to waste your time and trouble all they went for the ingredients. I'm afraid these mediocre muffins may not give Evie a good bark. Evie loves muffins. Uh, you like it that much? That's great. I'm so glad. You want another? I don't think that's wise. Too many sacks to give you a bellyache. Oh, I gotta receive huge face. I'll spoil you rotten if I'm not careful. Yes, you will. Thanks to you, Evie. And I will get along just fine, because I'm going to bribe it. Uh, I've jotted down my ideas. You should make it yourself. You, you go. You're getting a muffin. I need a cake lure base. Right, because that's how I throw items at them. Thanks for the XP candies, I guess. I don't really want them. <clears throat> Not going to lie. All right, let me go to a new area. Let me check the haircut first. I hate that I have to pay for a haircut before I can see if I like the haircut. Yeah, this is the thing that kind of bothers me. I can sell, like, from my storage. Why can't I, you know, give items from my storage in town? Uh, sure. Let me, see, let me see your haircuts. I hope they're different. Or you've expanded. Like a ponytail would be cool. Maybe longer hair. Alright, cool. We've got... I mean, this one's called long, so it's probably not... Uh... Yeah, like I like the ponytail. I just hate the stupid bandana. Short. Middle part. Yeah. Side part. Twin tails. Nah. Curly braids. Wait, these are the same haircuts. You liar! I hate you. This is my... Oh, this is my eyebrows, yeah. Alright, well, that was a waste of money. Wow, your old haircut's beautiful. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> uh, you know, hey, thanks. My old haircut was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm glad you stole my money. 
Go back again if you want to keep. No, I don't want to help you polish your stupid hair. You give me the same. You don't have any new haircuts. All right. <laughs> Walk through the door backwards. Nice. All right. More missions. More missions. Krogunk's curative poison. Uh, where's that? Uh. Alright, so she's down there. I mean, we probably won't be able to fulfill her request, but I might as well start it. Um, I can smell it. They're herbs. Do you find the Pokemon with the blue... I'm sorry, what? The blue vines hanging off of it? Tangela? They're kind of noodly. Is this Tangela? Tangri? Or do you want Tangrowth? <clears throat> Sentai, I remember, yes, these are herbs from my hometown. I didn't expect the Pokemon be absolutely covered in herbs. I mean, vines and these vines moving. I wonder if those Pokemon itself was underneath. <laughs> anyway, thanks for finding it. Sweet. Got more garbage I don't want. I'm just gonna cut off some of your flesh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just a little bit of your flesh. Hello. Oh, you heard about my crow gunk. Oh, oops. Uh. Awesome. I have to make medicine. I need to get my hands on crow gunk poison. Oh, uh, you want crow gunk? 19, 22. You can have a little 19. What about if its stats are better? I don't care. I don't want to use a crow gunk. I don't like crow gunk as a Pokemon. I don't hate it. But I don't like it either. Just kept stabbing uh, Brock. Don't poison people when they're horny. All right, future Nurse Joy. Well, when we got medicine, that'll be great to help. All right, awesome. Now let's go talk to the big boss. Hey, boss. New area. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mire land. Next order is to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance that there is no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. They aren't there. We did have a lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. Tragedy took him from us. Now we got reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures in the island the Lord called, uh, used to call his home. We have also received word from both of the security corps and supply corps. It seems some of the members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. This is a serious concern. It's more of my clan just can't tolerate the desecration of the Lord's, the late Lord's seat. Uh, normally I'd entrust you this to the warden in the coastland, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. No. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and uh, it must be a bewildering situation that dropped into him. Sorry. Like nothing of it. They're talented. Uh, let me answer. Thank you for taking me to a new area. Go investigate the coastlands. It's, uh... It is farther af 
field. And the Crimson Mile isn't much farther, and the path is long and tiring. Uh, I wonder... <sighs> that would suck so bad if you're like, just want to be a master Pokemon. Got to have the skills to be number one. We all live. Uh, no, but... <laughs> If uh, you wanted to, like, rush through this game, it's like, no, go capture a bunch of Pokemon, stupid. That would suck so bad. Oh, it's... Dang it! Leon. Well, howdy there, little cowpoke. Uh, though I suppose you'd be expecting to run into the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Oh, Coastland... Paulina's certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and she has no noble to see to. There are even people, some people of the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Uh, oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I should, shouldn't should be airing dirty laundry. Piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious powers. With the right stone, you could evolve some Pokemon. Um, you need n look no further than Cleavor is proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically smash rocks into Pokemon's face. <laughs> uh, stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sin and used to create the universe. I'll trust to take my advice and a heart to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind that fact into you, here I'll give you some rather handy stones I found. Rip pebbles. My god! I guess I should be using those. Eight or higher? Alright, so you're neutral all around. So you're gonna be my test subject, Shiny Ponyta. Because, Shiny Ponyta. Need I say more? Let's move all these. I don't. I don't need that many of those. Uh, grit. Uh, shiny ponytail. Well, I should have taken a before and after of its stats. Oops. I guess I'll take a look at its, um, I'll take a look at its speed. Okay, check summary. Speed is 117. One seventeen. One seventeen. Whoops. 117, 117, 117, 117. Wow! That's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna smash them all into Ponyta. Uh, move all of them. Ponyta's not even that good at Pokemon. Shut up. 130. 138. Good lord. How many do I have left? Couple. Let's go with attack and special attack. I think Ponyta is more of a physical attacker, but I don't really care. Yes, I probably could have got a better Ponyta. Do once again. Still do not care. Am I going to the water area? Yes. Still do not care. Here was one of those mass outbreaks. Stay safe. Of gold bats. This is probably the last area. Go check out the new area.
Right, catch me a Vulpix. I know Vulpix is in the game. What's that, like, electric thingy? Or is that just water? The red thing on the beach. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. I simply love... A, a simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as I can see. And what kind of Pokemon await? I wonder water types, flying types, perhaps... Ooh, I can simply study them all. Now, I'm sure you're as excited as I am to research this area, but let's not forget that the mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? Uh, sure. Uh, hmm, indeed. Fire Spit Island is the offshore volcano. You need to cross the sea to reach it. I advise you speak to the fellow someone. He is from the Diamond Clan Wardens, and will surely help you find the way. Alright. Um... So let's deposit the extra stuff. Organize it. Organize it. And I, I guess we'll go talk to you. <laughs> so a unique song. Okay, that's cool. I can dig it. I do love the flutes. It feels like the tones carry. I do love the flute. It feels as if it, its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now, I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Okie dokie. Very good. Uh, you who have come to the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. Huh. Pokemon! <laughs> Oh, sweet. I'm sorry, did you send two Pokemon at me or is there a random Eevee in the area? Because that's kind of important. <laughs> Not ice beam. Oh my god. What the heck? That's a lot of moves. I do you steal. Now I don't know if this is a random Eevee. I guess I'm gonna knock it out either way. It really doesn't feel like it's her Eevee. I'm gonna try and catch it. If she gets mad at me, she gets mad at me. Okay. So it is not a wild Eevee. <laughs> it it feels like it's a wild Eevee. It's a level 15. Now I feel better. The world is vast and I am small within it. Thank you. Oh, I mean, here's your Pokemon. Thanks. Appreciate it. Very kind. All right, with you, I think you can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of all the Diamond Clan leaders, Diamond Clan's leader, or your commander. But in truth, I sometimes wonder how I ended up with the burden I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she intends, uh, she, she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to the warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Polina, she's very dear to me. 
no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Claim. We started to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal, too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With your help, with the help of your strength, I think our late uh, Lord's heir is going to worthy success her, and if he succeeds, should silence Leah's naysayers. I didn't know of anyone I'd trust more to help than this person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleavor's frenzy. You'll be able to find a lean up ahead, head down the hill, turn left, find a slope. No. Immediately go get lost. Hey, it's a Glamio. Alright, quest complete. We can go home now. <laughs> Catch Glammeows without being caught. Alright. Is this feel? Oh, roly poly boy. Alright. Uh, what's up, Perugly? You stupid Pokemon. I hate Perugly. Whoops! Alright, well. Oh my god. That's a lot higher level than I was expecting. What's that? Here, break that. What's this? Oh. Blump. Yeah. Yeah, alright. So long. Alright. Well, I think that's where we're gonna... Nah, just a smidge more. Ah! It's a Burmy! It's pink! Got Pokeball! We can send out like uh, Espeon. If I find a shiny Eevee, uh, I'm legally obligated to evolve it into uh Aww. Uh, I'm legally obligated to evolve it into uh uh, uh, Umbreon. What are these? <gasps> pop pods. Hop on pop pods. So pay no mind. Pay no mind. <laughs> By the way, that's how I was getting so many, uh, <laughs> like so many items and stuff. Hello. Tiny bit of grass. All right. Well, yeah, I think I think man, I don't know. Yeah, well, okay. We'll do an exploration episode. I won't leave you I won't leave you all, you know, not seeing some of the exploring. So I know that's probably that's potentially going to be a little more boring. Not that I think it's actually boring, but um a lot of the times I'm just like ooh, a lot, so. And by ooh, I mean Ooh is my sneaky noise. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we'll be back in the next episode. Thank you so very much for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am playing it. I really enjoy it. So I hope you guys are really enjoy playing it. So I really hope you guys are enjoying uh, watching it. Because this game has been so much fun to play. So, let me know. Uh, I am recording a ton of these at once. Um, not that it's really going to matter now, but I lost uh, internet for like two days. And my goal this year is to make sure I have videos. At, uh, trying to have one video for every day this year. 
And by that, I mean a video coming out every single day. So I'm, I'm trying to get a lot of vid videos, like, scheduled to upload. Um, to to kind of help make that happen. Uh, so I have to record things in advance. And also, I don't know. This is, this is probably a game where I'm going to be just fine recording a lot of it. Uh, since it's going to be so long in the first place anyway. So that's kind of what my... I guess. Um. Oh my god, it's a graveler. Bye. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, everyone. Make sure you leave a like. It's super important. Liking, or uh, comments, even more important, but, you know, show, if you're enjoying this, please show some support. Hit the subscribe button so you get notified of when these videos are going live. YouTube's already pretty janky about that, but, you know, you can also hit the bell, get notified when my videos are going live and whatnot. It means the world to me. So thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.